Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be doing my very last empties video for 2021. I have only done I think four empties this year, I've been trying to do them quarterly so that I'm regularly emptying out all of my things um, and how has that been working for you guys? Are you enjoying the empties videos? Please let me know so I can tailor what I produce for you guys next year. So this is the last of the empties. There are actually a few products that are not fully empty, um, but I wanted to talk about them because some of them are actually being sold because I'm not using them. Some of them are just really old though. All right, so we're gonna start off with the cleansers. The first one is from Purito. This is the From Green Deep Foaming Cleanser, and I do believe this one was sent to me for review by YesStyle. This one I absolutely loved. I, it was not one that I thought I was gonna like, but this one sat in my shower for so long and I used literally the whole thing up. Like I was really trying to get the last out of it. This one is a really great foaming cleanser that doesn't make my skin feel stripped and dry. I'm really happy that at the moment it seems to be like most of the cleansers are coming out and they're a bit more moisturizing these days. Whereas it used to be that you had to literally pH strip test the products to see if they were going to be nice for your skin. And there were like spreadsheets of the pH levels of cleansers in the K-Beauty like, um, reddit group which was so helpful because yeah the ones that strip the skin are not so good and this one is one of the ones that is actually a low ph a low acid ph of 5.5 which is really good for the skin so i highly recommend this one it took me ages to get through it but it was so good i even also used it to clean my makeup removing puff which i got from your style in like 2019 and i'm still using rather than using makeup pads to remove my uh, makeup yeah, it is really amazing. I love this one. I would totally recommend it. The next cleanser is a mini from L'Occitane. This one is the Aqua mm, Water Gel Cleanser. Sorry, it's half like French and half not. Then this one came in my 2020 advent calendar and this one has been in my travel bag for the whole year. Fortunately, we haven't had that much opportunity to travel. I usually travel to my parents' house uh, multiple times a year on the holidays because I get really bored. Um, and yeah, this one has been my staple for this year. This is another one that I really liked. This one was watery gel. It was fresh. It was nice and it didn't make my skin feel stripped and dry. So this was one that I would consider purchasing full price depending on the price because it is from L'Occitane they do tend to be on the higher price point which I'm not a huge fan of because I feel like if I can get that Purito one for way cheaper then I'm going to get the Purito one but if this one is inexpensive then I will get it too because it was really nice also smelt really nice it just felt like so luxurious you know oh so nice then we have a few treatments one of them is from Neogen this is the real Vita C serum which is a vitamin C serum and you can see that it's in the packaging because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but um, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't like it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to sell it or not, though, um, because it is like three quarters full. Um, but I'm not sure how long it's been open for, which is... I don't know. This one I felt like did absolutely zero for my skin. Um, it made my hands stink like vitamin C, which is pretty usual for any vitamin C product. But I really didn't feel like it did anything at all. And so I ended up not using it. I would forget to use it and there's no point using it. No point having it there if I'm not going to use it. So this one was a bit of a fail for me. Um, let me know if you guys have tried it before and if it's worked for you. I don't know if I just got like a dud, but... Mm. I was very like meh about this one. Next up is one that I've had for so long as well. This one is from The Ordinary and it is the 10% Lactic Acid Plus HA. Um, and I remember having this one in 2019, which I know is a really long time, but I don't use it all the time. Like it's something that I use um, semi-regularly, like not every single day, not every time I do my skincare. This one I do think is really good. Like it's a great little like chemical exfoliant without being too harsh. I did also use it on my body when I had some really odd tan lines and it definitely helped out with those tan lines. So it's one that I would definitely repurchase. I really like this one a lot. Then I have a little trio of mini face masks from I'm From. There are three of them. One is empty and two are not. The first one that is empty is actually the honey mask from I'm From. This one I really enjoyed. It has a really interesting scent like I guess it kind of smells like honey but not really um and I thought that this one was a little bit moisturizing for the skin um it was just nice to use it's probably not one that I would repurchase full price because I don't tend to use masks that are like um like this kind of like wash off mask I prefer to use the sheet mask um personally but it was really nice to try because I was really curious about it and I think that it worked nicely it was nothing incredibly special but it was still fun then I have the two other ones which I am going to be getting rid of but I haven't used all of them this one um I've got the mugwort mask and the fig scrub mask and I disliked them for two different reasons the mugwort one just smelled really bad I didn't like it it's just like 
oh like mm, I don't like the smell of it it's very like I guess herby I don't think I've ever smelled mugwort before mugwort uh, but I was not a fan and I didn't feel like the mask itself did enough for my skin to tolerate the smell like I really felt the smell was it was, it was not nice for me and I know that that's not going to be a gripe for everybody um, but it was particularly bad for me I don't know why I just really didn't like it and yet the mask itself like the honey mask had a little bit of moisturization but not enough that I wanted to, to continue using it then the fig scrub mask I liked the scent of this one but it was too abrasive it was too much for my skin it made it hurt um, so that actual formula of this one I really disliked that so um, both of these I used them once and then they'll just be going on to a new home I also got two of the like little serum minis from I'm From because um, yes style had them they're really cheap so the first one that I got was the mugwort essence from I'm From and this one wasn't nearly as bad as the mask it's just not as scented um, I didn't feel like it did that much for my skin um, I wasn't a huge fan of it but it was handy to have in a really small travel bottle and it was slightly moisturizing so it's not bad and then the fig boosting essence from I'm from as well I liked this one a lot more I felt like it was a lot more moisturizing than the mugwort one was even though it seems like they should be the same sort of thing um, and it smelled really nice so this one was uh, a little bit moisturized a little bit more moisturizing so they're kind of like a moisturizing toner sort of thing like a thin texture easy to apply and they came in these little bottles neither of which I will be purchasing full size but it was fun to try then I have a full size empty this is from Dewey Tree this is the ultra vitalizing snail essence water and this one I used the whole thing off this one was provided for review by yes style it was one that I'd never heard of never wanted to try before never thought oh I want to have that um, but it's great I really enjoyed it um, so this one is one that was a nice lightweight essency water kind of um, feel and it was just really moisturizing I really enjoyed using this and I use like two or three layers each time so this one was a winner for me and I would probably repurchase it um, if I needed to buy another toner or um, light essence water then onto the moisturizers I finished up another one from YesStyle I think they gave this one to me in 2019 this one is the Metapsyche Calming Cream by Dr. Troubles or Skin and Lab I'm not actually 100% sure on that one um, and this is a really nice moisturizing cream. It's really lightweight. It's more of a gel and I use this one in the warmer months and I really enjoyed it. Use the whole tube. I don't think I'd purchase it again. I prefer um, a little bit more of a heavy cream like the um, Clears. I think it's like called the soothing cream. Oh, oh my gosh, like I buy it all the time. It's so annoying. Why do I forget what it's called? But I definitely prefer the Clears one over this one even though this one was still really nice and worked really well. Then for sunscreens, I have a whole lot of empties. I have got an empty of the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Gel Gold. Um, and I've been holding on to some of these sunscreen empties because I've been doing sunscreen reviews throughout the year. This one I really, really, really liked. And if you would like to hear more about the sunscreens, please go and listen to um, the video. I'll try and get the sunscreen video up before this one so that um, you have something to reference. And I'll try and put it in the iCard if I remember. But this one was definitely one of my favorite ones. Then we have the empty of the mini, which is the Sun Killer Perfect Strong Z. This is like the full size, it's 30 mils, it's just really really tiny and this one I really enjoyed but I feel like it's more for oily skin and it did make my skin a little bit dry sometimes so not 100% a winner. Then I've got an empty of the Espoir Water Splash Sun Cream. I didn't love this one either, it did have a very pinkish whitish um, cast on the skin which I didn't particularly like um, but I did use all of it up because it was a really good little mini size and I think I picked this up from Beauty Box Korea for like a dollar or something which was really handy. The last sunscreen empty is from Suncut and this is a sun spray this is the um, essence and UV protect spray pure savon uh, SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 from Kose and this one is really effective it is just a spray on sunscreen and I use this one if I'm going out for walks so or if I'm driving and I put it on like the top of my hands most of the time um, I'm always a little bit skeptical about the spray sunscreens because I do feel like um, it's difficult to know if you've got the correct dosage because it's hard like you look at your hand and you're like, yeah, I think that's enough sunscreen, but how do you know? How do you really know? You don't really know. So yeah, I just use this for smaller parts or like sometimes my back where I can't reach it normally. <laughs> Um, but probably not one I'm going to repurchase, not my favorite. Then we have a few random things. Of course, I've always got one of the Daiso Puff Sponge Detergents. I use these to wash my brushes and I go through one at least every quarter of a year. They are so good. Then I tried something new. This one is from Sephora and it is the um, Grapefruit Hair Sleeping Mask. Now, I put this one in my hair after I had my second COVID injection and then I got a little bit sick the next day. And so I just left it in my hair for like over 24 hours and my hair was fine. It's good. It was okay. Um, 
it's still here. And um, I was not a huge fan of the grapefruit like smell. And for me personally, there was just not enough product. I do have a lot of hair. Like it's, I mean, it's kind of short at the moment for me, but there is quite a lot of the hair and it's fairly long for other people, I guess, not for me. Um, so yeah, I didn't feel like I got enough product to actually review it properly. But it was fun to try. A nail polish empty? I haven't done a nail polish empty in so long. This is from Essie and it is called Beyond Cozy. It is this really beautiful like champagne gold glitter um, but it's yeah, pretty much empty and the rest of it that's in there is so chunky it's um, unusable unfortunately. I could probably save it with a bit of um, like nail solution but there's not enough in there to bother saving it. Um, this is the first nail polish empty that I've had in ages. Um, because it takes a very long time to go through nail polish. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I do like Essie polishes. I think they're very nice. And then for the makeup empties, I am throwing out this tint from Peri Peri. This is the Peri's Ink Velvet, like the original Ink Velvet in the shade. I don't even know because it is so sun bleached. Um, but I really, really like this shade. It was the last one that I had kept out of all of them. But it is just so gross. It is separating out. Um, and I just feel like it's... Um, even for me, it's too gross to keep using. But I love this one. I don't even know what color it is because it's just white. White with the like the date on it. 2017. I don't know if that's the production or the expiry date, but it's too old. And then the lucky last is a cushion, finally, from PP, PVIBIB, the long lasting soft PV cushion. Um, this one, I didn't particularly love it, but it did work. It was an okay color. It just wasn't an amazing cushion, so. I enjoyed using it, but not enough to repurchase it. So those are the final empties for 2021. If you've got any questions about any of the products that I've mentioned, please let me know down below and I'll tell you more about them. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.